Tom Halpert. Thank you, Tom. And what years were you here at YDS? I came in 1965, and I left in 1969. Okay. When you were thinking of going to Divinity School, why did you choose YDS? A student came here from my college a, he a year ahead of me, and he came back with a good report on Yale as a good place for pastoral ministry. That's good. What did you find most unexpected about it when you got here? Most unexpected? I've... I expected about everything that happened. I mean, I'm, I'm, yeah. I will say this, whenever somebody brought a baby onto campus and I heard the cries of a baby, I thought, oh, how refreshing in this rarefied intellectual atmosphere. Um, I, that people cared about students here, I think was unexpected. Approximately what percentage of your class were women, or how many women do you think were here as students? I tended to notice them more mm -hmm. than men. Um, it's hard to say that I think Porter Hall was full, mm -hmm. and they must have been at least 30, 40. Okay. That's good. Um, did you experience YDS as a male-dominated environment? I was aware that males, yes, yes. Uh, I had understood that there were people who thought that women who came here were basically looking for a husband. And that seemed to be degrading somewhat. And I was a little surprised at that. I had met Yale graduates who had met their wives here, but I didn't think that they would, I didn't think it was right to think that they came just for that. Were there women role models, uh, faculty or staff for the women here? Role models in 19, late 60s. Portia Bowers was not a role model. She was iconic for a, a if you don't mind my saying, got rocks woman. Okay. Uh, but a woman as a role model, I, I, the faculty lacked them. Maybe Margaret Marston, the registrar, but she was in the background. Okay, that's interesting. Um, do you think that the women who were here had a difficult time adjusting? Did you um, ever see or experience anything that indicated that? I can imagine they did. I, I assume it was not easy. Uh, Porter Hall... Uh, hmm. I respected women who stood tall in their in the stress of the situation. That's good. Um, can you describe an incident or tell a story that sums up your time here? You said you had a story for us. Well. In my first year here, I fell into a depression. And I finally sought help at the uh, mental hygiene department. I was ass uh, assigned a psychotherapist who was married to a professor in the Divinity School, a woman psychiatrist of faith. And I was just very fortunate to have that happen. And I stayed with her for four years. And I did not come out of my depression, but with her friendship, I was sustained. And I was also aware that she was in touch with the Dean of Students, Gaylord Noyce, and that the school was up on what was happening with me, and that was, I was impressed with that. But 
my depression deepened as I came to the end of my years here because my gifts for pastoral ministry went missing through the depression. And my gifts for graduate school were attenuated by the same. And I was sort of at a loss for a graduate school. And my last course here, I did not complete in the Depression. So I was lacking a final credit to graduate. And lo and behold, I received notification that I had graduated without that credit, those credits. And that to me was a gift of grace out of the blue. And I was just am amazed that where Yale usually went by regulations, mm -hmm. they would exempt me from that because I think they sensed I needed to get on with my life. I wanted to go on to graduate study. I did. I went on to University of Edinburgh in Scotland where my low GREs didn't matter, only my professor's recommendations. And I had the time of my life with a doctoral thesis that just led me to amazing places. What was that thesis, Tom? Karl Barth's method in apologetics and dogmatics, it was a critique. And I, I argued that Karl Barth's theology uh, had elevated a portion of church tradition to a higher level than the authority of scripture, and therefore, technically, his theological method did not meet a Protestant criterion. Interesting. Okay, is there anything else you want to share with us? I'm just very grateful for these years here. They were painful years, but with the passage of time, that pain gets transmuted into gratefulness. Mm -hmm. And so I am very grateful to this Yale Divinity School. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much.